Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor. And before you go, are my eyes deceiving me? Two videos for Doss Gregor in one week? Did he get fired? No, I did not get fired. Eh. My job is still busy as usual, but the wife and kids are still on their vacation in Pennsylvania, and I have the house to myself. And once work is done, what more is there for me to do but to look at Linux for you? So, today I'm going to be talking about what many people have asked me my opinions of, Plasma 5, KDE 5. Now before I get into this version of Plasma 5, I first want to say that I have tried Plasma in three different venues. I have tried it with Kubuntu installed in a partition of its own, which crashed today by the way. Tried to do an update and boom, dead. Throw that away. After I did my Ubuntu a couple days ago, I also put Plasma 5 or Kubuntu desktop on the top of that and allowed it to install side by side so that I could have two GUIs sitting there to bounce back and forth and try. And what I found was a complete headache of crash after crash after crash, bug report after bug report. And I said, this cannot be so, this cannot be. It's gotta be a Ubuntu issue with that. So I blew it away. And I saw in the comments as I was reading some of the stuff from Ubuntu about someone stating that they were going to put SUSE 13.2 with Plasma 5 on there and use it. So I thought, ooh, you know, I like SUSE. I've used SUSE for many years in the past. It's been a while since I've taken a look at SUSE. So let's throw SUSE on there and give some love to SUSE because, you know, as I said long, long time ago in one of my old videos about SUSE, I actually tried to get my wife to let me name my first daughter, my only daughter, <laughs> after Sousa. I was vetoed. I don't know why, but I was vetoed. She didn't like the idea of me naming my, our kids after distributions of Linux. I thought it was a great idea. <laughs> Anywho. One thing I want you to notice right away, without tweaking, without doing anything different, just being in SUSE instead of Ubuntu, GUVC View is giving me 20.15 frames per second, and I haven't done any tweaking to it. That's just the robustness of a better OS, a more defined OS. So without further ado, Plasma 5. What do I think of Plasma 5? First off, the biggest problem that I think that a lot of people try to do, myself included, is that they get something new and immediately they try to make it look like what they used what they're used to. What they what they had before. You know, as I said, myself included, I wanted to put the same widgets that I had before on there. If you remember my Gen 2 desktop, I've got some things on there that show me re system resources with the processors. I've got my little lunar um, moon so I know when it's a full moon and I should stay away from all the crazies outside. <laughs> no, don't worry about the crazies inside. They're okay. <laughs> and there are a few other things. I like the Lancelot application manager much better than the kicker that KDEs come with. And unfortunately, that's not there. That's not available. None of those things work very well. And you'll notice too that instead of having the little launcher on the upper right like it used to be over here, it is right here. If you go add widgets, instead of them being down here where you used to, they're in this area here. Now one thing I don't like is like, I would like to make this a little bigger so I can see it a little bit better. However, I want to point out, and I don't have a screenshot unfortunately, but when I looked at Ubuntu's it was really clunky, hard to read, and terrible, whereas this one was much more clear, easier to look at, and better defined. And these are mostly all of the default that come with Plasma 5. And for the most part, they work pretty well. I haven't had any problems with the default. But then I thought, 
Well, what about, have people been developing, you know, widgets for Plasma 5? So I went to the download new widgets, and we open those up. And we should get some stuff here. And we see that there's a thermal monitor, an active control, a few different things. And I have installed a weather widget just to see how it would work. And it's in there somewhere. If we go back in here, add widgets, and we go to look for weather. Here's the weather wi widget. Now, say that five times fast. It doesn't work very well for me. You know, it seems like once you get it to expand, you can't get it smaller, so you don't want to mess it up. Now, I've already set this up and I tried it, and I can't believe it's dropped down to 95 degrees because it was like 113 all this uh, day. And for the most part, the one was off the side, and I could not get it on there. I'm thinking that most likely it was built for Celsius, and I don't think you'd ever hit a three digit in Celsius. Unless you're close to death or down below, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm not talking Australia or, or even here in Arizona. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I got that one and I thought, oh, let's try this out, see how it works. And so I got it up and got it out there and played with it for a little bit. I also did a few other things with some other widgets and started getting all kinds of weird bugs. So I got rid of them, and that's the only one I was playing with. This is one I think that comes out of somewhere in Europe, but it's still pretty cool because you get a lot of information here about what it's supposed to be and what's going on, etc. Pretty nifty. But I also found some other bugs that were in there. For instance, let's see if I can make something repeat itself. If you go into the system settings, and let's see, I think it was display and power. If I go into composite and display and then I try to back out, it blows up. There's a few other things like that that I go into system settings or try to configure or try to set up and I end up with a crash or a bug. I guess bottom line is it's going to get better. Like I said, I feel like I'm, I'm reviewing or looking at a beta version and it's not ready for prime time. In fact, I'm really surprised that Kubuntu's default now, if you install it, is Plasma 5 because it's like putting on something that is just going to crash your system. Now, if they're trying to make Unity look better, they're doing the right thing. They're getting it, you know. Hey, would you rather have Unity that doesn't crash, but you can't do anything proper in it? Or would you rather have KDE Plasma 5, which constantly crashes and you can't get anything done? <laughs> I guess that's one way to make Unity better. <laughs> For the most part, when Plasma 5 is working, it's working well. I threw some games on there, Tux Racer, to see how the graphics would work. That worked fine. I th went to YouTube and watched some videos to check them out, and those things worked plenty fine. The volume control is great. The video is great. The backbone and the main meat of Plasma works well. It's just there's a lot of third-party developers and contributors that I'm really hoping will continue to take the widgets and and extras that they made for KDE 4 and incorporate them and rebuild them for KDE 5 or Plasma 5. I'm not sure. Are we going KDE 5? Are we saying Plasma 5? I don't know. I always thought it should just be KDE 5, but everything says Plasma instead, so I don't know if we're going away from KDE Anyway, I've tried this out for a few days. I didn't think I really need to go much more into it because it is what it is. I mean, it seems to be good. It seems to be okay. It's just missing polish. It's missing that pizzazz. Now, that's the other thing I wanted to mention or talk about, and that is in KDE 4, it looks sharp. It looks great. I am very happy with KDE 4, and I don't see a reason to change. Now, I don't know if I have any Gen 2 developers who actually watch any of my stuff. I, uh, Gen 2 is my thing. I love Gen 2. been working with it almost since they were out there. And they royally hosed me. When we went from KDE 3 to KDE 4, I wasn't paying attention. I let it go through and it hosed my whole old system. Now that was a long time ago. 
And and to me, KDE4, when it first came out and they made that stable, was not ready at all for production. It was so buggy, so many problems. And I hear myself saying some of the same things now as I did then. So I'm really hoping that it will be a while before they start making that stable in Gen 2. Otherwise, I may find myself masking a lot of pro programs to keep KDE 4 around, at least until I feel more comfortable with using Plasma 5. Yeah. That being said, it does make a huge difference which distribution that you're using Plasma 5. Like I said, with Kubuntu, I thought it was kind of rubbish. It kept running into all kinds more of errors and, and crashes. And then, of course, like I said, I went to update today and... I get a black screen now. I get a fancy, pretty startup with a black screen. And it's dead. So, so be it. You know, I kind of wanted to go back into that to compare some things between the two to see if they crashed in the same spots, if there were some differences. But, ugh. Oh well, so much for that. So that's pretty much it for my opinion right now on Plasma 5. That's all I'll say. You know, bottom line, they're getting there. It's not ready for production in this humble Gen 2 man's opinion. But it is getting there. I think we need some more support with some of the widgets. I think they need to fix some of their system setting issues. I think that there are a little there's a little bit here and there that still needs polished. There were some big complaints about how big, for instance, this title bar was. And what I ended up doing to fix that is going and finding another, in the look and feel section, a different title bar or a different window decoration that I was able to download that I liked a lot better. That made it a little bit smaller and less bloated. There are some things about default plasma that in the beginning is like, ugh. It looks like you took Windows XP and kind of blew it up a little bit and made it a little bit bigger and uglier but it doesn't it doesn't feel 2015 and I'm a little disappointed about that because KDE 4 in on my Gen 2 box feels to me very 2015 but this it reminds me a while back and I can't remember who it was I can't remember if it, it was um, it was a large company who, who does some other things it might have been Sun's Sun but they dealt, developed an OS completely written in either QT4 or maybe it was just a Java base, complete Java. Whatever it was, it was written in without anything else but one specific programming language. And maybe someone out there will remember this. And it was an interesting proof of concept, but it wasn't very useful or practical. Now, Plasma 5 is a little bit better than that, but its look and feel reminds me of that. Clunky, not yet polished, needing a little bit more rough around the edge. I need to get the sandpaper out, kind of scrub some sides and so forth. But I think it's getting there. Yeah, I'm not too crazy about some of the icon structures that they've gone with, but that's the cool thing about KDE, unlike Unity. I can go in there and I can configure icons. I can configure my desktop. I can put those buttons on the left. I can put them on the right. I can put them anywhere I want. There's all kinds of choices and I like that. Like I said in Unity, I like to tweak things. I like to make things personalized for me. And KDE still gives me that ability. I don't have to go by one person's thought process as the way they like it and they're going to force me to be. And that's what I like most about KDE. So thank you for listening to me ramble once more, twice in one week. I am going to try to make this the summer of Linux. Or for you under the southern hemisphere, the winter of Linux. <laughs> the cold, dark winter. <laughs> anyway, if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching this. If you want to try Plasma 5, I would suggest going to SUSE 13.2, downloading it, installing it that way, 
And the way I installed it was when you choose your desktop interface and then you get to the part, the part where you can choose more applications to install, you can actually go into that and then in the desktop environments you will find Plasma 5 listed to choose from. And just make sure you don't have KDE 4 checkmarked because the first time I tried that I had them both kind of there and it did not work. I had to start all over and do it again. Uh, but when I did that, that's how I got it on there. Much better way to look at it than I think Kubuntu right now. Of course, I'm sure that'll change as, as people work on different projects. I've always liked SUSE, though. So if you want to try it, go that route. And that's what I'll leave you with. Until later, bye, guys.